Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I teach you guys how to recreate this beautiful vampire inspired makeup look. If you wanna see how I recreate this look, keep on watching. All right, everyone, let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, I already have my eyebrows done and I used concealer to carve them out. And I also have my eyeshadow primer on as well. I used this one that I got in my September Boxy Charm box. So for today's eyeshadow, for this vampire seductress type look, I will be doing a red and black smoky eye with a halo eye in the center. So I'm going to be using my Morphe Artistry palette as well as these two eyeshadow palettes by Juvia's Place. Okay, so let's get started with my eyeshadow. So to start off with this look, I'm going to be using a warm tone brown color as well as a darker warm brown color as my transition shade. Since I'm using red, this is going to start off our eyeshadow by adding dimension and the warm tone eyeshadow will add that tone to the whole eyeshadow look. Next, I will be taking a deep red color and adding it to the inner and outer corners of my eyes. I'll also be blending it throughout my crease, making sure to leave the center empty. Then I'll be darkening it with a darker maroon color to add depth. Don't try to tame it, cause you win up tonight, ain't nothing but Bodies in a room, it's just bodies in a room. Everybody's getting loose, only one thing left to do, move. Bodies in a room, it's just bodies in a room. Everybody's getting loose. Only one thing left to do. Watch this. So, because I have monolids, I want to make sure to blend the eyeshadow above my lids to ensure that others can see the colors. So, take notice to your eyelid shape to know how far to blend the color out. Next, to make my eyeshadow look more dramatic, I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow color and adding it to the inner and outer corners of my lids. While you're blending it out, I suggest using that deep maroon shadow color to kind of help you. It'll ensure that you don't lose that red color as well as blends out your black. Everybody's getting loose Only one thing left to do Watch this Now we're going to create that halo eye effect If you watched my Mean Girls video I teach you how to create this cut But you can kind of see how I do it here If you want to see my Mean Girls video Go ahead and check out my channel And while you're there Don't forget to subscribe Oh I did the damage, I'll take the fall My stupid habits, it's all their fault But I apologize, I'm gonna do it So I love glitter And this Too Faced glitter glue is a godsend Like I actually use this when I use anything shiny Including like certain eyeshadows It helps with the longevity of your eyeshadow And it makes the eyeshadow stand out as you can see, I'm using the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in this red metallic color. And with the glitter glue, it stands out so nicely. Now I will be adding a white eyeshadow with a green undertone to the center of my eye. When you see the final look, it kind of creates this effect that makes my eyes look like an eye when my eyes are closed. I said eye three times. 
So continuing on with my base, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and I'm also going to be using the same brand in a foundation that is one shade lighter than my skin tone. But because I actually want to look a lot more pale, I'm going to be incorporating this color right here from my Ben Nye Essentials palette. For this vampire look, you want to make yourself look pale because we're kind of dead a little bit. <laughs> so just make sure that you use a fair skin tone foundation. Hey, low-key, like, my eyebrows look hella snatched, or whatever. Stick around, just like cigarette smoke Like a dream, I fell asleep, but I never woke They say you're bad, but I just can't let go You get me high like cocaine, make my heart race You got me hooked, need you even more the next day I know you're bad, but I just can't let go So we want to create this illusion of a slimmer face and nose so that's where contouring comes in. So here I have this dark brown cool toned contour color. Um, I'm using this cool tone color because a vampire is supposed to be technically dead so I just don't want to warm up my face at all. Don't forget to add eyeshadow and black eyeliner to your lower lash line. We want to make sure your eyeshadow looks balanced and um, don't forget to add some lashes, dramatic ones preferred. So now I'm going to be creating the veins underneath my eyes. So I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Ultimate Effects palette for this part and scraping 
this dark blue color right here and this red color right here and using a small thin brush like this one and drawing out some random veins. So I will be starting with the blue color first and then I'll layer on top some red and if I need to, I can use the brush that I use for my foundation so that it doesn't look too harsh. You say that you need me, I run to your side. But when I arrive, you can't make up your mind. I see all your hang-ups, they're not hard to find. I'm in for the long one that you better catch up. Love you always started. All it took was one seed. Stay away while I grows its own like a weed. Now in your garden, you can't pull around me. Head back, open mouth. It's all the posies. So in this video, I don't add a lot of veins, but I think this look would be better if you add way more. The thirst is real, you know? So for my lips, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncuffed and applying it all over my lips. I'm also going to be taking my Sephora brand black liquid lipstick and applying it only to the parts where my lips will touch. So just the center right here as well as the corners. So for lips, you don't necessarily have to do what I did, but if you want, you can have red or just have black or just have like a deep red color. In fact, if you want to look like a real thirsty vampire, you can totally have just like crusty dry lips.
So for a little something special, I'm gonna be taking my stipple sponge as well as some fake stage blood and applying a little bit around my mouth. So for my vampire fangs, I actually have these and you can get these kind in any party supply store or any spirit Halloween or anything like that. Um, basically it just comes with the teeth and these little like pellets and in the directions it tells you to melt it down in some hot water and mold it to your teeth. If you are going to use these faux fangs, I would definitely recommend that you do this either the night before or even like a week prior because when I had first built these teeth, it took me like two hours just to mold it to my teeth. But once you get it correct, it looks amazingly cool. So with these fangs, I do have to warn you that it is a little bit harder to talk with. As you can see, it kind of sounds like I have a lisp. But um, these look incredible. Plus, they stay on your teeth really nicely. I just wouldn't recommend that you eat with them, mostly because you're going to get food all over them and it's going to feel really uncomfortable anyway. <laughs> Alright everyone, this is going to be the final look for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to recreate this vampire-esque look. I hope you all have fun trying to recreate this look for Halloween this year. And if you do, don't forget to comment a picture of your look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And remember that I post new videos every single week. For this month of October, I will be posting a video on Wednesday and one on Friday. Again, thank you all so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Give it, give it. Oh.